Hello and welcome to DTWG The Prep Welcome. So in today's video, we're going to be looking at how to find the area of a triangle. Okay, so we have two triangles here. All right, this is a right angle triangle and this just, uh, I'm not really mentioned, but it's just like a normal triangle. It could be isosceles, it can be equilateral, but we're not, we're not into the type of triangle here. So, okay, it could be any of those, but here I brought this in because this is a right angle triangle. You can see we have two different shapes here. So I'm going to teach you how to find the area of this and also the area of this, okay? So for a triangle, the formula for the area, okay, you're going to get this in your GED formula sheet. You don't need to cram it, okay? All right, the area of, let me just draw this, a triangle. So I'm writing it out, okay? It's equal to half the base times the height, okay? So from here, all right, to identify the base, this is the base. It's always the one, like the base, the ground, the ground, ground floor. Okay, so this is the base, all right? And the height here of this of this triangle, this is the height here, from here to here. Okay, this symmetric, uh, this line, like a symmetric line down here from the top to this bottom, this is the height of this triangle. For this one, you know, we have to identify parameters in our formula the base is three inches and which will be the height you know some people confuse okay so i know you might say this is the height no this is not the height the height is this okay this place that the uh, right angle um symbol is this is the height of this triangle and not this okay so here let me solve this here so here the area is half our base is eight times eight this is an inch and the height is what four okay so here uh two we can cancel out two here and two would go in eight uh four times and we have four times four that will give us what 16 inch square all right so we have inch square we can write it square inch inches okay so this is the formula for this i uh, sorry this is the answer for this and also here we have half our base is three times three. And yeah, I want to also mention something. I have something on this. Uh, on, uh, uh -huh. So when you're giving, you know, several triangles here, all right, you can see this is the height. This triangle is liking us and onto this. So it's a straight line from the top to the base. Okay, here, this is the word height. So here, if you have a triangle like this, this would be, you as you sketch a line from this top here to the base, and it would be the height of this particular triangle, okay? The height always forms 90 degrees to the base, all right? Always note this, the height forms 90 degrees to the base, okay? So I just thought I should bring that up so you don't forget. So this height here is about four inch so we can cancel out right this two would would go in four two times and we're left with three times six and that will give us six square inches okay you know this is the area so it will be square inches so you can write it like this you can also write it like this to square okay so this is how you calculate the area of a triangle all right so later on you can check our website uh dcwgd prep for your math formula sheets your summary notes on science and social studies study guide uh, practice questions okay and further more things that would help you in your exam you can also subscribe to this channel please and you can join our facebook group um, over 15,000 members, it's a lovely community that will support you with resources you need, motivation you need to get your GED this year. I'll leave all links in the video description box of this video. All right. And finally, don't forget that Jesus Christ is coming soon. Give your life to Christ for he's the way, he's the truth, he's the life. He's the one who's going to lead us to heaven at last. Okay. And he is the same yesterday today and forevermore okay and he's saying just come on to me all ye that are heavy laden okay and he's going to give you rest 
you've labored, you're so stressed, it's going to give you rest. You know, take all the stress that you've, you know, burdened yourself with. Okay, that's what Jesus is here to do for you. So all you need to do is just give your life to him, uh, declare him as your personal Lord and Savior, and that's all. He's going to take everything over, all right, and make it good and beautiful. All right, take care and see you in our next video. You are destined to win in your GED test and in life.